back in the naturopath thanks for coming back to my channel stomach ulcers are something i've dealt with so many times in the clinic with so many different people most stomach ulcers now are caused by helicobacter pylori okay the bacteria that lives and thrives and loves the acidic environment of the stomach i think i've made a few videos on h pylori before <clears throat> Now this bug was only really discovered in the 80s, so not that long ago. And before that, doctors thought that all stomach ulcers came from too much acid in the stomach. So they gave medications, which they still do today, to block stomach acidity, all right? Crazy thing to do. That's like literally blocking the gas pedal so you can't go any faster in your car, okay, than 30, 40 mile an hour. It's not good for the car, it's not good for you, and it's certainly not good for your stomach when you start limiting okay the acid production in the stomach it's a crazy thing to do so why do people have stomach ulcers well as i said most stomach ulcers today are from h pylori my personal opinion i believe that a lot of stomach ulceration comes from people who already had low stomach ulcers to begin with they didn't have a really good strong powerful viable gut and again why didn't they have that because they did something they took either medications they drank too much booze they ate the wrong food, they had a lifestyle that created or made their stomach go slightly down, down, down. Perfect opportunity for bacteria to come in there. Okay, and that's what happens in many cases. Of all the people I've looked at with stomach ulcers, most had pretty sort of not so great lifestyles leading up to the diagnosis and the prescription of medications. So if you're not interested in getting stomach ulcers, try and keep the stomach quite acid, okay? And you'll achieve that by chewing properly, by drinking water, not so much booze, eating the right kind of food, it'll make a big, big difference, all right? So the combination of mastic gum is perfectly fine with Kenzie to remove, but what I would recommend you do is take the, the um, mastica gum away from Kenzie to remove. So take two um, mastic gum capsules, because they're all often around 500 milligrams, so I'd recommend you take two of those twice a day between meals. Don't eat them with food, all right? The Kenzie to remove you take with meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or all three, or one, two, or three doses, depending on what you're taking. If you're treating a stomach ulcer, I would take remove twice per day, probably morning and night with meals, and then I would take the mastic gum during the day between breakfast and lunch, and between lunch and dinner, I'd recommend you take it. Try and take it well away from food. Empty tummy, okay? If you want a bit more power behind the whole equation, you can also take small amounts of colloidal silver once or twice a day. You can even put colloidal silver in your drink bottle, all right? And then when you're drinking that during the day, you're getting small amounts of colloidal silver uh, in your stomach, which is going to also help. So the Kenzie to remove, you will take probably two tablets a day, <coughs> one with breakfast, one with lunch, uh, sorry, one with dinner, and after a, a couple of weeks of doing that, you go to two with breakfast and two with dinner. And remember, two mastica twice per day. So you're taking four mastica per day, and you're taking between two to four of the remove per day. And that's a protocol you can keep going for about three to four weeks. Then you stop for about 10 days, and that's a good opportunity to really get into the probiotics. All right. Kanzita Restore works quite well also. So Kanzita Restore which is an enzyme probiotic, works powerfully with remove. So those two can even be combined, and then you take the mastica in the middle of the day. That's a great H. pylori protocol, by the way, a very good one. If you wanna go even better, and up the ante, okay, and get a nicer result, when you wake up in the morning and you've got a stomach ulcer, you have one to two tablespoons of raw cabbage juice. So green cabbage leaf, you just grind it up, you put it in a blender, get juice, get the liquid out of it, and you have two tablespoons on empty stomach every single morning, okay? You do that on top of the Kanzita Remove, on top of the Mastica gum, with a bit of colloidal silver in your drinking water. Watch what happens, okay? Thanks for tuning in.